Welcome back to some more Moto Madness reaction videos. Today we're going to take a look at one of their most popular videos by views. 56 million views, I believe, on this video. So let's take a look at why it's so popular. Can't tell which lane he's okay. He's over there. Ride side by side with a buddy. Fucking bitch. I, I really can't understand what's going on. At one point, this guy's in the left lane, and now he's drifted back over here. But we hear the I think it was the car screeching. Well, you just kind of drifted over. They don't know what you're saying. It kind of seemed like the rider was blocking the uh, the roadway. Sorry, it's a little bit of a log of a video. I mean, he's over here in the right. He moves to the left, but not like fully in the lane. I mean, he's in the lane. If you occupy any of it, you're fully in the lane, but still. He's looking over at this other guy. I don't know what's going on. They're going slow. Fucking bitch. He drifted back over. The car hit their brakes. I don't know where the car would have went because of the other rider, so this is confusing. Now the car's obviously in the wrong. Should have done that. Does a little swerve again. <laughs> okay, it's the bike that's squealing. What's up, dude? Fuck's wrong with y'all on camera, bitch. Yeah. Get his bike. Fucking bitch. Well, you got their plate. No contact was made, although there was a lot of stupidity here. You got riders riding next to each other, going what appears to be pretty slow, and obviously there's vehicles that came up on them, or were behind them, it's hard to tell. So they're kind of blocking the road, and this guy's kind of going from the right lane to the left lane, back to the right lane, and I begin to think it was him that... Uh, brake check the car or something because it was the same tire type squeal from his motorcycle as it was, you know, as earlier. I think this rider has some issues. I don't know if these riders are together yet, and it just seemed weird. It seemed weird what was going on. Unless we're missing something that happened earlier that they're not showing us. Um, yeah, I don't know. You have no justification to break somebody's mirror. In fact, if I was the vehicle sitting to the left and I saw you just come up and break somebody's mirror, I'm going to probably call the cops if I got your plate number because you just broke somebody's mirror for really no reason. Was the car in the right at that point to go to the left and come back over? I don't know. If this guy brake checked the car... Then if I was the driver of the car, I'd be like, what the heck? I get to the left. I probably would have come back over to the right and cut off somebody that's obviously mentally unstable and mad. Uh, yeah, you just probably wouldn't want to do that, but come on. Okay, let's continue. Let's see if we find anything else. Is this guy even with... There's like no talking in between those guys. Oh, it changes videos. Okay, so in some water, probably unknown, riding in a lake or something, a river. A field with parked cars, people camping. I think I've seen this one before way back when. This video is like four years old. 
for 56 million views on this compilation. Whoa! Yeah, you're threatening to throw something at me? What is wrong with you? It's obviously some sort of a, a dirt road, if you will, that people come out here. Obviously, they're camping. They probably want quiet time, but still. You don't act like you're going to throw something. You could just, just go like this, wave them down. Most people will stop, you know, and say, hey, hey, you know, we're just trying to camp here. You know, don't do anything too crazy, you know. We're just trying to have a peaceful time. Kids are around. You know, it's a family environment. You know, I don't care if you're riding, but hey, you know, just be respectful of the people here. Yeah, no reason to threaten to throw something. Whoa. Oh. Did... I don't know what just happened. Did he throw something on one of these other riders? That caused him to rear on this guy? Oh, Russian. Yeah, just right and buy. Well, I don't know. If they can drive on that, then why can't they ride on that? It's all the, you know, the same. <laughs> Gonna throw it. I guess it's a thermos. He didn't throw it, though. Don't know why that rider ran into his buddy. Like, how clueless are you? Obviously, he's talking to this guy. How? Why would you run into him? You know, in those situ situations, if you're the person confronting somebody to tell them, hey, you know, we're trying to have a peace and quiet time here, and then these people don't want to do it, they might just continue to go back and forth, back and forth, back. Whereas if you didn't say anything, they might have just left and not come back. They might have just been passing through. But they could be asses in just right back and forth, back and forth. And what are you going to do? going to keep throwing stuff at them? Then they might do something to you and they'll just leave. And these don't look like they're plated bikes necessarily. So you might not have a way to knowing who it was. Yeah, you know... It's best to let things go and see if they just ride by. Okay, continue. There's other people too. You know, now it's not just going after this one tuppy guy, it's going, you're it, interfering with everybody. Yeah, there's no plate on that bike. He has a baton. What are you do with a baton when I, like, gas and throw a bike at you? I know you. See, the, these riders would have probably been gone by and might not even come back again, so the whole confrontation was just silly. So. Why is this guy, like, looking at him? Like, I, wouldn't you scurry off to the curb over there? <laughs> he just, like, looks at him. He doesn't even try to move. What the heck? Okay, we gotta go back. Right there. Look at this. He just stands there. And he... Defensive. So just... Two more steps off across and plenty of room. Instead, he's blocking the lane and making it hard for the, the rider to know where to go. And the pedestrian's not in a crosswalk, so he's illegally crossing the street. But yet, he's going to stand there and take a defensive posture like, this guy's attacking him. Well, no, it's a road. Would you do this with a big truck on the road? Or would you have scurried the rest of the way to the curb? I mean, the times, I mean, I'm a human. I've made illegal 
crossings on foot. You know, just like a lot of people when you're in that city environment. But you do it, like, quickly and cautiously, right? No no vehicles around, and you make it to the median. And you, run, you know, you run across the next part. And if you can't scurry across, you probably shouldn't be making that illegal crossing, you know? Like, I don't get it. Which causes them to hit the car. So now you got a vehicle and a car incident if the car driver wants to stop and make make anything of it all because of this guy crossing the road illegally crazy okay already hear the motorcyclist motorcyclist has crossed the double yellow line technically that's illegal we've all done it because why would you wait in line when there's plenty of room to get up there right it alleviates the right lane so I'm not 100% like, oh my God, this rider, he did the most horrid thing. But this is the first little thing. Let's see what he gets mad about. Okay, I'm going to turn left. Okay. What the heck? Okay, you might have a beef with somebody that passed you earlier. But why, why on earth would you cross the double yellow line? Oncoming traffic cars are going to need to turn there. They're eventually going to. And you're going to hold up traffic to have a few words. If you happen to be a car behind, okay, I could see pulling up side. But when you have to go around a few cars, oh, come on. What was that? No, what the hell are you what doing? You cut me off. Well, you didn't even show us that. Cut you off. I have a feeling he was doing something because he didn't include that in the video. Bitch ass. Now you're on the wrong side. Imagine if a cop came and saw you over on that side of the road. They'd be like, what is going on? Just because you had a, the guy might have cut you off earlier, let's assume that happened, gave you no right to cross the double yellow and be oncoming traffic should somebody turn. Luckily, no one was turning right then. It's a dual sport. I'm trying to do a ten bike. Why did you blur out their plate number? Okay, what happens that they blurred out plate number? I mean, these bikes can be plated. I don't know if they are. Okay, I see a plate on that bike, so, okay. Covering it. Something's gonna happen. Hey, the car driver felt like he was being held up or is in a hurry. Maybe, you know, there could be life things going on. So I bet you, I bet you, haven't seen this video or haven't seen it in four years, so I don't remember that I bet they get so mad, butt hurt, that the driver blew by them that they're gonna go chase him down. Now. Let's see. Am I right? <laughs> yep, yep, here we go. Truck's out of the way. We're gonna go blasting, so most likely going over the speed limit. Gotta catch up to that car, man. He blew around us. Gotta catch up. Gotta run the yellow light. Plenty of time to stop. Should have stopped for this guy. Gonna gotta catch that car. Gotta catch the car, man. Because the, what the car did was so crazy, you're gonna put your life at risk by chasing this guy down and have a few words. What? Turning left. Do a wheelie. Well, you're following him. I'd kind of question why you're following me too. If you're making moves, you purposely caught up, purposely made the same turn. Were they going the same way? Eh, I doubt it. Oh, now, now they run. So they're blown by other vehicles. 
Although, I guess they took offense to the car blowing by, you know, them and the other car on the road at the time on the left. Now, they're going to blow by other cars. Makes no sense. These are like pretty small bikes, too. Other than being nimble and being able to go probably on sidewalks and off the road. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, being nimble. But come on, you kind of started it by chasing after the vehicle. Two wrongs don't make a right, you know? You were just as dumb as the car driver. Car driver got paranoid and stopped. Why are you following me? It's probably what was going to be said. You know? Camera's facing just a little bit too far down. <laughs> it's annoying. Okay. To me, track people always seem kind of rude and stuff. I don't know. Something about their personality. Maybe it's the competitiveness. They just seem like they're, like, I don't know, wanting a fight. That's a track. People can be doing weird stuff. It's a kid, too. Like, they're probably both kids. Like, what? <laughs> this guy in the car was enjoying with his girl that he came in the opposite lane and could have crashed me. Thank God I have ABS. So obviously overseas and not his first language. Being English. <laughs> oh, that's not even just being a little bit in a lane. I would hope it's a tourist. That, you know, had a mental fart there that, oh, wrong country. <laughs> I would hope that's what it is. Yeah, it looks like they got over to the left. And yeah, that would be scary, but... I did that briefly in, uh, in Nassau, because they drive on the wrong side of the, on the island, on the wrong side of the road, compared to the U.S., and uh but no one was around the wife was like uh you're on the wrong side i was like ooh, ooh. and i only did it once and then i was like yeah 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 right. <laughs> but it's easy to do He says some t uh, drivers now tailgating. Hey, we don't know the speed. We don't know the speed of the road. But yet a vehicle is going by. So potentially they might be going too slow. I, I don't say that's right for the vehicle to tailgate you. I'm just, you know, trying to figure out why that might occur. Okay, if they got to the left, let them by. Yeah, let them shout something. Who cares? Oh, God. We're gonna pull up. What's up? What's up? What's up? You good? Alright, dude, you're, you're falling a little too close there. I cut you off? When I'm in a hurry. So if you get in a wreck, you know how long that might take? Even if it's just something you can drive away from, it's gonna take you hours believe me by the time 
you know, you deal with changing insurance, the cop comes, maybe even depending on the type of wreck, even if your car is drivable away from the scene, you know, you could be there for a few hours and uh, it, you're in a hurry just became, now you're spending your day basically, a good part of your day dealing with uh, getting in a wreck because you decided to drive carelessly. How is that kind and, of- and they still got at the light at the same time. So he blames the motorcyclist for slowing him down, but they both got there at the same time. So, and they're both in traffic. So he didn't make a light. It didn't save him any time. Oh, it's called lane splitting. Yeah, exactly. At a stoplight? Must be California. Alright, dude. Alright, even if I did cut you off, I didn't put you in danger. There's no need to follow me that closely. I understand that. It seems like an Asian guy and he's acting all hard. <laughs> it reminds me of Office Space and you got the white guy listening to the rap in, the, in, in his car and then, you know, the. Uh, black panhandler or whatever it was at the beginning is walking up and he like turns the music down and then he as he goes by he turns it back up it's like <laughs> you're not hard you. Dude, you. maybe he's hispanic i mean i can't tell don't follow me that close then did i fucking cut you off? wow that guy i bet i bet he has an outstanding job with all the vocabulary he's using Huh? Yeah, you fucking did. You went in front of me. You, you cut the lane. You went in front of me. Right, right. Even if I did cut you off, what? Why is? Why do you need to get so mad over that? Because that's not. That's I got a fucking temper. That's why. Yeah. I got a temper. That's why. It's why you probably work at Walmart. I can fucking tell. <laughs> yeah, chill the fuck out. Oh, tough guy. I do not know why that has 56 million views. Good for Moto Madness, because I don't get it. That was no better or no worse than any other video compilation they have put together. But boy, some of those people in this one, four years ago, 56 million. Congratulations, guys. You've, you've done awesome. It's amazing. Anyways, that, that was an amazing video series to watch, the compilation. Wow, you all uh, take care, get out there and ride, be safe about it, be smart about it, and best of all, stay safe and stay well, my friends. Have a good one. Bye.